What's the revenge mechanism? How does this work? Unpack mm -hmm. it for us. Well, part of the argument of the book is that we have to rethink what we mean by revenge. So right. we've been trained, habituated, to think about revenge as something individuals take. And we've been trained by that, you know, by Hollywood narratives and also thousands of years of human culture where we have uh, literature and stories from around the world of revenge. So one person, could, uh, there's an act, you then re re um, uh, go to redress that act. Yeah, this you, is your you go revenge. and you claim your debt. And the Holly right, and the Hollywood model is that if you remove one bad apple from the system, then the system goes, it's purged and it goes on perfectly. Perfect. Yeah, everything, everything goes back to normal. It's a bit normal. simplistic, isn't it? It's very simplistic. And so the argument of the book is that we need to also rethink what we mean by revenge. And my experiment in the book is to say, well, can we talk about capitalism, this system, not a person, but a system, taking a kind of revenge on humanity? And we can see that in the form of climate change, you know, for instance, where you have nobody seems to want it to be happening, and yet it continues to happen. World leaders seem helpless, or at least proclaim themselves to be helpless in the face of it. You can look at what's happening to refugees around the world who are simply let, left to die as a kind of weird revenge that the system takes without humanity having ever really done anything to deserve it. How can there be so much cognitive dissonance? Because obviously there's action and reaction, right? Mm -hmm. And the systems that we've put in place are the very reason why this revenge is occurring. Mm -hmm. And I constantly hear this thing about, oh, capitalism has failed. No, it hasn't. Mm -hmm. It's worked perfectly according to the rules that it's been set upon. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've been um, miseducated right. so that we don't see systems and structures. It's partly because of those sort of Hollywood narratives, but also the way that those narratives are reiterated in mainstream media news, etc., that make us just focus on the individual. So we're always looking for a kind of cartoon, Dr. Evil style villain. But that's just not the way systems work. Systems work by conscripting all of us to participate in a certain way. They emerge from right. everything that's happening within them. And that doesn't mean that we're all equally culpable for climate change or refugees dying. There are people with names and addresses who are much more culpable than you and me. Um, but it does mean that to understand a system, we have to look at how humans work and act together.